What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, we're going to be covering a super niche topic, though this video is going to be very useful to you if you're looking for something like this. So you all know what Android tethering is or mobile tethering. You basically share your phone's internet connection, whether it be wireless or 3G, 4G, etc, etc, with a computer via a USB. Now that's super simple and easy to understand, but assuming that you're in a location where you don't have access to wireless and you don't want to spend tons of money on mobile data, how exactly do you get your phone to have internet? Well, assuming that you have a Windows, Mac or Linux PC connected to the internet, probably via a cable, then you are able to share your PC's internet connection with your mobile device, i.e. you can have wireless and your mobile data disabled on your phone and use your PC's internet connection to browse the web. That's exactly what I'll be showing you in this video now. Of course, this video only applies to Androids, and if you've tried researching this topic before, then you probably came across a ton of articles saying you need to be rooted. In fact, this video doesn't even require you to have admin on your Windows PC. As long as you can access the command prompt, you can do this. On top of that, as long as your phone is at least Android 5.0 and you have Java 8 or better installed on your PC, then you can absolutely do this. So first of all, before we get into the actual video, make sure you have developer mode enabled on your phone and USB debugging is enabled as well. I won't be running through that here. You can go ahead and search for a tutorial on that. But assuming that you have developer options enabled and USB debugging enabled, simply head across to the first link in the description down below. The link below will take you across to GitHub and this is the Generatet page. Basically, scroll down until you see the text over here. Scroll down and we'll look for requirements. Over here is some info on what you need. As long as you have Java 8 installed and your phone is at least Android 5, you should be able to do this. Under the ADB header, simply find where it says Platform Tools and click it. It'll download a 7.8 megabyte zip. Then we'll scroll down a bit more and we'll simply look for Rust and Windows over here. I'll click the zip. Now that I've downloaded the Windows zip and the Platform Tools zip, I'll simply open both of them up. From the Generatet zip, I'll simply extract this folder onto my desktop for somewhere easy to access. Then I'll close out of the zip, and in the second zip, the Platform Tools zip, I'll open up the folder, and I'll select all of the files inside of here. Then I'll open the folder that we just extracted, and it has these files inside of it. Simply drag everything out of the Platform Tools folder into this folder over here, and it'll look something like this. Then I can close out of the zip, and of course, you can close the web page as well. Then when you're in this folder over here, simply click the very top and we'll type in CMD. Hit enter and a new command prompt window will open and will automatically be in this folder over here. From here, all we need to do is type G and hit tab. You'll see generatet.apk, hit tab once again, and we'll see generatet.exe. Simply hit space, followed by install as such. Now before hitting enter, make sure that your mobile device is connected, developer options is enabled, and USB debugging is turned on. I'll hit enter, and we'll see an error over here. No devices or emulators found. Now of course if you don't see this error, then great. If you do, then check to see how your phone is connected to your PC. Usually there is an option somewhere on your phone to change it from a file transfer mode or camera mode to something else. On my phone in particular and some other phones, you'll need to change it to a MIDI input device. Usually you'll have options such as charging, file transfer and MIDI device. I'll be clicking on MIDI device and my phone will reconnect to my PC. Then once I've got that selected, I'll hit up and enter. This time we should see that it takes a bit longer to get past here and I may be prompted on my phone to allow USB debugging with this PC. I'll click the checkbox and hit OK. After doing that, I'll simply press G, tab twice once again, space, and I'll type in run. Then I'll hit enter, and our device will start as such. At this stage over here, we are now connected to the internet on our mobile device through our PC. All you need to do is simply head across to a browser and search for something, and things work pretty much as expected. Now, I'd highly recommend that you turn off your wireless connection and your data connection from your phone's options just to make sure that you're actually using your PC's internet connection and not one of the other connections by accident. Once you're at this stage, you can go ahead and disconnect your phone from your PC when you're done and you'll lose internet access on your phone. Your PC will still have this Generatet window open. All you need to do is hold Control and press C to close out of this program. Then when you see this over here, simply hit the X and we're basically done. 
Now, of course, if you're using a PC where you can't install software, etc., etc., this is perfect for you. You can even put this on a USB, take it to that other PC, plug it in, and run the commands as such. As long as you have access to the command prompt, then things work well. But anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.